Okay. Um. Hi, Harry. Hi, Gigi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice. Nice to meet you here. And um, I saw your I watched one your movie, and then um, it's such a good movie that oh, I was so touched about it when I watch it, and I cry. <laughs> and oh. yeah, it's so touching. So I know that um. Before you shoot this movie, you actually met Jennifer. And then what did you actually talk with Jennifer? Yes, uh, so um, before I, we shot this movie, I, I, I was shooting another film. So I, 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 was, it was, I didn't get to meet Jen until later in, in the movie, probably like two to three weeks into shooting. And Jessica Roth, who was my co-star, she got to have really in-depth conversations with uh, with Jen, and that really helped me because I got to pass that down. And even videos and pictures that she shared uh, was very helpful. But when I got to talk to her, um, she sh she watched uh, the wedding vow scene, um, which was really really scary. But uh, ultimately, it was it was a wonderful experience to have her there and to to. To also, it was very comforting to know that we were, you know, heading towards the right direction, and 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 you know, we sat down and had dinner and talked a lot more. And um, she is just a, like a hero of mine, just the, the courage and uh, and to be able to still talk about this and 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 her ultimate goal of just showing people who Saul was, you know, uh, and and that and her and their message on 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 hope. And, and to, to deliver that to as many people as possible through this film uh, uh, was, was, was really, really great that, that I can be even a small part of it. So um, what do you think about Saul? You know, I think uh, Saul is, you know, from, from what Jen has said and, 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 and through, through the research that I, I've done, you know, Saul was someone who was always trying to find the humor in things, trying to find the positive parts of, of things that, that might not be looked at and, and looking things and turning it around and seeing it in different views. Um, but most importantly, I think uh, you, you captured who he really was, um, especially faced with uh, a tragedy and, and, and knowing that, that he can make someone feel a little bit better, even though it is a hard thing to cope with. Uh, especially with someone who's going through whatever he was going through, um, is is a uh, is a powerful thing, and, and it just showed how courageous and 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 uh, that a person that he was. I wonder because um, this is a real story, real love story, and then the um, and your role is a real person. So is it a challenge for you? Yeah, it's absolutely a challenge when, you know, when someone has existed and you're trying to uh, pass that message uh, uh, on. But, um, you know, what Jen, Jen gave us, uh, specifically to, to Jess, who was playing Jen, uh, Jen Carter, the fact that she didn't want us to uh, have to try and, 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 and portray them exactly how they were and, and gave us uh, a, a more freedom to to just tell the story and 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 that's the more that's what she wanted us to focus on not about their mannerisms who they were uh, you know a, a, as as a person but more how they were with each other and you know with this thing with this story about love and and also overcoming you know and with adversity and 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 knowing that there's something that was completely out of their control they had to look at things that they could control um so that that really eased us as actors to be able to just focus on 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 telling the story as as best as we can while also having um the elements carry through that i think are, are going to affect a lot of people in, in a big way so um i think Jennifer will watch the movie. So do you have some kind of pressure? Uh, yeah, there's always, there's, there's always pressure when, you know, when, when, when someone that you want uh, uh, their approval, um, specifically when it's a, about them. But, 
you know, like I said before, she really uh, allowed us to have this, this, this freedom to, to tell the story. And, and, you know, she, I talked to her recently and, and, you know, it was, it was really great to, to hear that, that she, she did really love the movie. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, the, the biggest message was to, to show Saul as, as someone who we can gain all gain inspiration from, especially someone who's like, just anyone who's like climbed this mountain and, uh, and, and, um, and was able to do it with a smile on their face, a treacherous mountain and, 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 and continue to, to care about others uh, at the same time and before more so than, than themselves at, at moments. Do you think that also is kind of inspire you and your life a little bit? Oh yes, yes. Uh, after filming the movie, you know, I think I called a good amount of people and just you know, told them I, I love them and, and, in a lot of ways, you know, you kind of look at the things that you took for granted. Um, something as simple as taking a breath, you know, breathing in and or just having whatever you have in your life that, you know, you kind of looked at as it's just completely normalized. And, you know, um, and not to even talk about materialistic things, but just having someone to be able to check up on you and, 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 um, and then knowing that, or they're asking for your advice and then just having, instead of giving advice, it's just sitting there and listening and, and taking in, uh, uh, people's, um, what they're going through and using that time as, 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 as a bonding mechanism to, to draw us closer. Cause at the end of the day, all we have, uh, are, are connections, you know, material, material things kind of go in and out but our, our connections uh, uh, last a lifetime and then create memories that can last a lifetime. Um, because um, I look at your history a little bit and I know you have like um, worked with many different people and I think this one you are the lead actor. So what do you feel? Uh, I feel extremely fortunate to, to take on a role that that it's centered around these two two strong and and um uh, heroic people and you know that's what i take away from i i look at you know there's no there's no small roles only small actors you know you you, you take uh, you know when you start off in your career you you take what you can and you try and make the most out of it um which a lot it says a lot about also what this film uh, kind of has. It's like, well, well, if you're handed a little bit of something, what can you make from it, right? And, you know, whether you say you're making uh, uh, lemonade out of lemons or, or, or just um, uh, not taking things for granted, living your life to the fullest, there's all these sayings, but I think it's getting to the heart of why, uh, why I was able to look back, why I'm able to look back at my career and know that those little moments helped strengthen me and allowed me to make better decisions moving forward and in, in, in my career and even on set and, and, and finding the patience and, and the, the art of collaboration. I think there's, it's an art to that. It's not just something that you pick up. Um, there's definitely an art to that. And also knowing that just being present and just, uh, being feeling alive so you can you can react to that person in front of you or around you yeah because um um last time you was in crazy rich asian is the full asian cast and this yeah. time you are the only asian role here so do you feel a kind of difference um, yeah, I mean, every, uh, you, you know, those, those two films are completely different, you know, one's, one's centered around a certain culture, certain, um, you know, part of, part of the, uh, part of the world and, you know, and not even, not even just the country, but just a sliver of, 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 of a country. Uh, and, you know, this, this role is, is in a lot of ways, like an everyday man, right? He's, he's not, he's not someone that is defined strictly by his ethnicity or what he looks like. Uh, it, it's defined about what he does in, in the face of, uh, of, of um, being handed, you know, a, a card that's not that great, you know, and figuring out how to flip it and, and make the most out of it. And, you know, it's this, this group of people who, who find ways to cope 
with with this tragic news and 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 you know spark some joy in, into it for the limited time that they do have all together. So, you know, I, I look at that and I think for if you're talking about representation for like Asian males, I think it's it's extremely important to have something like a studio film that really is able to uh, show the that. Um, Asian men are are more than whatever's been stereotyped uh, uh, over the over the years in 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 major films, specifically speaking, and and to know that you know there's there's more that that can be shown and not just uh, one aspect of them. Mm. So I wonder, um, what is your most impressive scene in this movie? Well, my most impressive scene, I would have to say, uh, you know, the proposal, I wouldn't say impressive because of me. Uh, I, I think um, I'm only as good as uh, my co what my co-stars, uh, my co-stars, because my co-stars are just, you know, such incredible talent and it makes my job much easier to do whatever I need to do. And specifically when you're talking about the proposal scene, if it was just me singing by myself, to to Jessica, it would, you know, it would be it would have been great and fine and romantic. But the fact that it was that group of friends, the love that was felt, the energy that was in, in coming on the boats and you know rowing into it and, and having musical instruments, just it just felt like it was um, a bundle of love that just like exploded under a bridge, you know, and um, that is more than just just me you know i was just a, an element of that but uh um i thought it was it was so grounded and i'm just more impressed with you know mark myers and what he did with that with that scene and um so it, it just it just felt real it felt like, like it could happen if you walk down the street the next day and you saw these people do that Mm, because um, I wanted to confirm a thing with you because I did a little bit research about you. Uh -huh. And I think it's your first time to be the uh, leading actor, right? I hope I do it, I found it out correctly. <laughs> Gigi, this is my fifth time. No, I'm just kidding. This is my first time. Yes, it is my first time. Yeah, it is. You're right. You did. You did good research. You did good research. Yeah, so it's kind of different for, it's kind of, we have to celebrate it, I think. No, absolutely. Yo, look, I, we have, we do have to celebrate and, and um, I hope that it's not the only celebration. I hope that it continues. We could celebrate more in the future. And, and uh, you know, I think going down the pipeline of, of things that are happening, I just hope it's, it's not for uh, reasons to just check the 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 list, um, uh, um, like a diversity list or whatever it's called, but more so on on the fact that you know we can give actors like myself who've been in it for a while and new young actors that are starting up to this opportunity to just play these everyday man, you know, and, and or someone that is 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 going through a struggling that affects a lot of people, and also I think just as, as importantly movies that that we have already like the farewell and minari i think those need to continue the, the but they don't have to just be uh, immigrant stories which i i think are inc incredibly important because i'm an immigrant myself and uh, along with my parents but um i think there's more to that and i think it's it's trying to just get as much uh aspects different aspects of of the i guess asian experience um that's not just particularly down to uh, uh, their only the culture that that is um, that defines them. Mm, should be my last question here because we only have fifteen minutes. So, um, what do you want to talk to uh, no matter Chinese audience in the state or Chinese audience in China? What do you want to say to that? Um, I want to say, look, okay, my mom would be, my mom would be extremely, uh, this is, when I got into the business, I, um, I have a funny story about this, uh, you know, so I was into the business, I got into the business and, you know, I was dancing, I was dancing, you know, with pretty cool, doing pretty cool projects, you know, I was on Glee and then I was dancing for Beyonce and then, you know, I was in Apple commercials and my mom was like, okay, that's, that's good, good, you're making money, okay, I'm proud of you. 
And it wasn't until I landed on the, um, uh, I remember, I think it was like well, your newspaper, China, China Daily, and then all Cinco Yapo and like all these other uh, Chinese uh, newspapers and, and programs. And my mom just like, oh, you made it, you made it. And it's, it's true because it, it's, a, it's an importance to like the culture of, of knowing that, that that language is penetrating and, and, and reaching an audience that, that could be completely understood. And so for me, for the, the, the Chinese audiences and, and, and Asian audiences, is, is I think it's important if, to just come out and watch the film and support and, and, and just celebrate. And hopefully, you know, if you might not see the story that, that's being told to, to, with, with this particular story, uh, it, it can resonate in other ways than just representation. It could just resonate in, in just finding things of, of the little things that you can live your life to the fullest. Um, but I'm, I'm also thankful for the, the Asian community for, for supporting me, but I know that there's so much more work that needs to be done to, to be able to tell different stories that resonate with, uh, with different people within, within that community. Thank you so much for your time. So I think it's time's up and awesome. have a good evening. <laughs> Yeah, have a good evening. Zai Jian, huh? Zai Jian. Zai Jian.